Hey everyone, this is KP and welcome to your beginner's guide tutorial of my toolkit. In this video, I will give you some basic information of my toolkit, how to use it and do some basic tasks with it. And yeah, I am not covering the download and installation of the toolkit because I found it to be very easy. If you still have a doubt, you can just read the blog post from my official webpage itself from the link in the description. Okay, so without wasting time, let's move on. So here I have installed my Coolpad toolkit in the root directory of my C folder, C drive, and now I'm running it for the first time. So, so to run it, just double click on the toolkit.exe and one thing, note it, it's a batch toolkit. So it should look like this. It is the command line interface because you know uh, to interfere with the system, actually batch toolkits are very much satisfied okay so after setting up it should something look like this so this is you can just wait over here it's a first beta and alpha edition with the version 1.0 that means the latest one and now what you need to do is uh, you can check over here that it's Coolpad device which are currently supported yet that is Coolpad Note 3 and Note 3 Lite and which is not supported yet that is Coolpad Note 3 Plus, Mega, Max and Note 5 oh for good because you know Note 5 is the best one the beast of all us and here we return some basic information on the toolkit that is option 99 is a basic toolkit for all Coolpad devices that means you can if your device is not currently supported, if your device is from one of these, you can just use option 99 to use some basic. Uh, just straight away go to basic Android toolkit. And from here you can just make a backup, install the files, make a lockcat, view device info and actually you can do many things, flashing worms etc. So and again note over, it, over here is written is this your device must be connected to this toolkit in order to work and if it is not listing over there you need to first just install the drivers from there so for that we just need to install drivers so to do that you can just see here some options are also written over here which is <laughs> DR that means install drivers so let's go for DR or DR you can just see down here so first you have to re write the DR that means the option number capital or small doesn't matter and press enter <coughs> now a new window will come and from here you need to install the cool pad drivers from the option 7 itself must install and these files are just for satisfying satisfying its needs that means this is for SP flash tool driver that means for flashing robes recovery through SP flash tool yeah I think you might know what is SP flash tool if you are a cool bad user you must know what is SP flash tool smartphone flash tool yep here is the driver for it and for the third one it is it will fix the drivers that is uh, yep it will fix your device drivers actually uh, because if you might just install it by the wrong method it will fix it by the normal thing and here is the first universal ADB drivers to your PC I don't know why I included it but I want to include it because it's a universal <coughs> <coughs> okay so for now we are just consulted over for the, with the option 7 so do option 7 and okay just press any key to continue as it says over there checking the installer launching the package let's launch the package and you have to see in this video because actually I have already installed it so I may pop up with this window but if you are new you know, if you are a new installer then you will see something else and you have to install it from there and after that 
you just need to restart your PC. Sure, you can see here, restart your PC now. So press any key to continue. Once your driver is installed, you just need to plug your Android, uh, that means a cool pad phone to your PC. Let me do it. Okay, so I connected my phone to here. Now, what you need to do is, you can see here, a uh, window which says, uh, detected device is plugged in. So, actually it's plugged in, but you know, it's been stopped in the process. So, we need to reactivate the process. For that, we can use refresh the screen. Just press R and just refresh. Now you can see here the CoolPad CP8676102. That means it's a model number of CoolPad Note 3. Okay, and yep, your device is detected. That means drivers are successfully installed. And if you have still problems uh, in the installation of the drivers or your fast boot is not detecting, so you can still use a uh, read over here if it says it says if you have problem with the drivers that your phone is not being detected then simply install cool by drivers yeah we did that and after that if it's if it's still not working then you need to download android sdk that means sdk bundle with the whole plugin of lollipop marshmallow and nougat all the upcoming releases in only 2GB package. Yep, and Studio. Yeah, actually, first uh, you can install Android SDK, but now it has been made a one single source of project that is Android Studio. So you need to download the Android Studio. Uh, you can just get the link it from my description of the video. Okay. Now uh, you can just read some options over here. That is, it's 99 for going with the basic toolkit here installing drivers that we did just now and here the display connected drivers information let's do this let's i want to see my device information let's do it by the option i do it so we just waiting for the usb debugging to be detected <coughs> and yep i have it okay so did you see that um it is the device information with the product manufacturer that is cool pad with a model number with some build description that is this is v034 that means i'm on version 34 of this row hardware our hardware is mtk media tech drivers device id and everything here inscription set and also you can just see some funny things like what alarm you have just set now that means what tone what kind of tone of alarm i have set the tone that is Alarm and ringtone is default that is cool pad. I have said it and nothing okay and it also says that uh, your boot image status is also a secure based on arrow module that means you uh, if you flash some insecure boot image it will also de be detected over here yeah insecure boot images like TWRP custom recovery for stock it is a secure one and from option D, you can just go to the official web page of my toolkit. And with our option, you can just refresh the screen that we did just now. From C, you can contact me like this. If you have some reports bugs regarding this toolkit, you can contact me from below. Or if you want me to add some function options in it, you can just contact me below. And many things. Here's my email and here's my WhatsApp. From here, you can just open a command window new, and from here, you can just check the updates like this. It will check the updates. As you can see there, no updates found till yet. Check the official thread for more info. Now, let's move on to our device so let's go and try the supported device modules that is here no tree and no two light currently not supported here is ns yep will be not supported means it will be added soon when i will found when i will get its recovery and its stock room and its all custom room links when we, i will get it i will add over here and if you have 
something new for me, you can just contact me. Okay, I think I've been discussed many things about this window. So let's move on to this thing. Device modules, okay? So currently I own a cool pad node 3. That means I should select 0, 1 option. If you own node 3 light, you can just go for option 2. So I go for option 1. You can see here the from down. Press enter. Now for this option to be work, you must need an internet connection because it will download some modules for it. But if you don't have internet connection, it will give you the link to be downloaded. And uh, once it's downloaded, you need to paste in this directory only itself. And again, run the same option. Yeah, you will just uh, yeah, the toolkit will print the help screen over there. Nothing to worry about that. Okay, so what is uh now what is the situation exactly is I have downloaded CoolPad Node 3 module and it is placed in this order you can see here it's cpn3 node 3.key it is the device module and now let's move on go for option 1 so you can see here you can uh, it says that the selected device modules are not downloading downloading that way right now and file is already downloaded so it will extract it and automatically run the toolkit so as you can see a cool pad node 3 and here you have device id so this is if this is printed over here, it states that your drivers are properly installed. Now, it's a very new thing that you are seeing this window. It's looking just awesome, you know. It's 30 options to customize your phone. So first one is that one we did before. Install device drivers on your PC. Second is backup and restore, which will, uh, from here you can just take the backups. And here are some more options in it that means backup all individual apk backup individual package of apk means only selected apk backup selected storage folder that means sd card music folder and whatever and cwm backup android backup and twrp android backup pull dash data folder <sighs> pull slash system folder backup call logs sms contacts install e and to take a backup of your imei number you can use this efs backup and here are some restoring modules options okay so currently this three option the sorry two option that is backup all individual apks and backup individual package only is not working yet yeah actually because i don't think so our device is specifically made for taking a backups for this or using ADP, but then also I'm trying my best to uh, setting this option in the toolkit. Yeah, that's why it's not been removed, or else I will just remove it in only one second. Okay, so you can just take a backup from here. So let's take a backup of a uh, folder like third folder here, three. Okay, so let's pull the music folder here, or you can just pull a list of folder from your phone. You have to give it some input and fourth internal storage to your PC. So I'm interested in just third option. I want to give some list. So you can see here, look into your phone, type a folder name of your internal storage, and or else it does not work. So let's type a name that is music. Yeah, it's for demo. So the command is set for follow. Do you want to continue? I continue. You want to give some custom backup name, yeah? Yeah. Note that the giving a, a custom backup name is very useful because sometimes the toolkit get confused to override the custom backup and that's why it can cause some errors. So always give a custom backup name. That ID is music dash backup. Yeah, always don't give space in it. Uh, yeah, you can give space but it makes the process a bit much complicated and made and will consumes more time actually so music backup that's it so you can see here backup is start when you press enter so let's press enter ready for this and backup is mission okay very fast and backup has been stored here the backup cpn3 and your storage this thing music and here here is the music folder and only the music is over here that is 
JJD and Winston and since Lewis is my favorite one. Okay, so here's how you can take a backup. And here's how you can also restore it. Let's do it. Let's restore some storage folder like from the option 11 itself. Custom directory. Okay, enter a custom folder name with forward slash slash. For example, new test. Drag a backup folder. So let's drag a backup folder. That is this music. And you can see here just backup has been restored. Okay. Now you can just go back and let's and from this option third option you can just unlock and relock your bootloader yeah actually there are some miss uh, you know there are some miss uh, yeah actually you know there are some misconceptions between some users that in cool pad the bootloader is actually doesn't exist but actually it's not true brother in every android phone bootloader exists that means you know bootloader is actually called as fast boot mode and in coolpad fast boot mode exists so unlocking also exists and relocking also exists so third option from third option you can just unlock and relock your bootloader from the fourth option itself you can just root your phone and check the root status that is all the this all the info information has been written over here like you root your device root your phone root king root root the sp flash tool yeah it's a guide and many things so here you can do some main, most cool option from fifth flashing recovery here you can flash clock mode twrp fills and TW, twrp for marshmallow and stock recovery which you need to download it and yep flash to sp flash tool and many things okay bye bye ah joking and from sixth option you can just install busybox on your device and from seventh option that is my favorite one is the all in one option you can just see uh, what is written on to its right hand side that is super pack from the one option itself you can just unlock root pc install pc box and install custom recovery you know it's a very smart option very smartly designed option by me it means if anything anything happen it will just cancel the process and again just you know uh, revert back the changes that he had made so it is the must and very good option that I loved so it's option 7 from here what you can do and from option 8 you can just flash cool pad stock room image like this all the information written over here from 9 you can decide load the image uh, stock image from the custom recovery and etc from here 10th option that is boot to custom and stock recovery without permanently flashing it now what this option means that means you can just boot to a custom recovery twrp cwm fills whatever you have without actually flashing it that is uh, that's it you call it as booting okay so you can do it from the option 10 from the option 11 you know boot of flash.img files to your device like here flash.img files for example I choose here .img file first option so first thing here you need to do what you need to do is uh, just read over the description over here typically make sure you here okay got it if you don't see your file below then copy it to input folder here okay wait to copy your dot img file here i have one uh which is its recovery that is here not recovery everything i have kake image let's try for kake image cool one i love it kake continue so after copying, you just need to refresh the screen from the option R itself. And you can see here the Kake image has been present. And if you want to cancel the process and go back, 
just press the option X from here like this and just press enter to go back so by selecting option 1 it will say that what do you want to do just put it or flash it I choose for option flash temporary I'm not going to do it and it will tell you to select a partition type boot, kake, recovery, system, use data so choose second option that I choose the kake image so you need to choose the system so you need to choose the kake image and it will perfectly flash it nothing to worry about it I'm not going to do it right now because it's very been time consuming and thus like that you can just do many things over here set file permission, log cat, functions pull, push files, install, apk device information that we just, just did before and our turn help section and some device mods and specific section and here one thing 21 option what it says when this read over here actually this works uh, currently I'm working on this this option that is extra section and and I really will need your help for doing that because I'm not much aware of cold pack phones yeah I have not performed many experiments on it so if you are interested in helping me you can just contact me from the toolkit itself from me on whatsapp and just help me for making this option you know this option 21 extra tips tricks okay now I'm going back to uh, the toolkit the back option from here change uh, select a different device to work with and yeah one thing I didn't told you like here from here you can just uh, so change your some toolkit settings like change toolkit colors your text color and brown background colors to make it good display version number of app programs used by this toolkit that's here like this you can see here I've used this much this much this much and here credits of course credit goes to me KB and here some contributors and here some for friends that have been assist uh, that assisted me okay so I'm just changing my device to be worked okay cool now I got here and now I'm gonna working with the basic one so that I should show you something in it 99 option basic one go you are using the basic version of the toolkit some features have been disabled for you because of some incompatibility okay you can see here the basic version has been displayed and some option has been disabled over here like the main option here 7 all in all all in one option is disabled for you if you try to do it it will give you an like yeah error like you are using a basic version of this toolkit this option is actually disabled and here tenth option booting to custom recovery without popping flashing it is also disabled and also in here fifth you can see here it is this is also disabled this four actually this is available guide yeah I just strived hard for working it and yep this is what this is what all the information of my cool pad toolkit and from tw option 27 you can open cool android emulator like this you know android emulator what is it it's very good unless uh, Linux programming if you might don't know where it is cd slash sd card and uh, oh sorry ah. mega geo download many things mm, dude cool one so this was the yep, beginner's guide of my toolkits actually there is a lot more to you know discuss about this toolkit uh, many things actually to discuss about toolkit but actually you know the size uh, uh, you know I'm just talking for with you guys for more than 20 minutes uh, maybe it's been uh, it has been a half an hour video you can see at the below time 27 minutes 52 seconds cool one 
So actually there is a lot more to discuss about the toolkit, a lot more to do with this toolkit. So what I'm just requesting with you is just use this toolkit. Actually I have did all my best, all my best with it and I just want you to just support me. Yeah, uh, not by giving just donations like this contributing money. Just download it. Just uh, share this toolkit to many people. Means all cool that users, you know. Uh, yep, to share it to many people. Use it. Uh, use it and check each and every option what it does because actually I haven't discussed many things. I just made a business card for you, for you, and. Yep, if you like my work, you can contact me on WhatsApp saying thanks to me. Yeah, it's not a banta hai yaar. Yaar, itna mehnat kiya, so itna to matlab thoda sa to mera to contribution lagega. Or and one thing, um, while downloading the toolkit, just please download it from the link that I given you in the description. That means uh, it is the link of that Dodge shortest link. Uh, yeah, because you know, actually, I just made this toolkit for you by you know, I just tried many things for you to make this toolkit. Actually, I just uh, you know, one day was actually I haven't slept the whole night. I just made this toolkit for you because I was thinking that I want to really make cool pad the best phone in the world and me and some of my friend teams are working on it and we are being very consulting about what you am doing okay so that's what I need to tell you just please uh, share this toolkit to as many people as you can use this toolkit customize your phone check each and every options and if you find any of the bug in regarding my toolkit Feel free to ask me and I'll fix it in the future updates. So, uh, so this was the beginner's guide of my toolkit. I hope you like it. If you do so, just smash the like button from the description. And this is it. Hello there. This is KP and I am sending out.